Morning, so I'm just starting uh, the, the next video or the next film, carrying on the series of knots that I'm doing. Um, the last one, if you can probably remember, I was testing fluorocarbon lines. And one of the things that I pointed out, that I found out is with fluorocarbon line, it can break quite easily, it can be quite brittle. Now this is the fluorocarbon line that I normally use, Seagar, recommended by John Little. Amazing line, super, super, super strong. Highly recommend it. This is 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon, incredibly abrasive resistant. And I also use this line, the Braid, um, J Braid, H strand, uh, 40 pound for my main line, and it works really, really well. But as I said last time, I have had a few break offs over the last year, and I've been testing these lines to work out which knot I should use for which line. Now, the thing that I found is there is no one knot that is perfect and superior above all. Some knots just work with some lines and other knots just don't work with some lines. Uh, fluorocarbon is very brittle and tends to break. So if you have a knot that wraps the fluorocarbon up into tiny little knots, then it's more likely to break quicker. And as I found last time, I was only getting about 60% of the breaking strain. So this time I'm doing something a bit different. I'm testing the Albright knot and I'm testing the Alberta knot side by side to see what the difference is. And I'm using, again, my favorite Seagar line, 20 pound and the J braid as two knots. So this is the setup I've got. Right, so here we go. This is the Alberto knot. So I'm kind of expecting to get 20 pound breaking strain or close to 20 pound breaking strain because that is the line that's there. So we're up to nine pounds so far, 10 pounds, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now this is the interesting bit. Do you see how, where well it's broken here, it's actually broken on the fluorocarbon line. So there we go. It hasn't actually broken on the knot. So I reckon that knot would have held out to about 100% of the breaking strain. But so far for 20 pound line, it's doing about 70% of its breaking string. Let's test the Albright knot. I see. One pound, two pounds, three pounds, four pounds, five pounds, slipping, six pounds, seven pounds, eight pounds, nine pounds, 10 pounds, 11 pounds, 12, 13, 14. So 14 pounds, it snaps. Um, again, I suppose, yeah, that's, that's a bit shy of the breaking strain of 20 pounds, I'd least expect be closer to that. So yeah, 60, 70% breaking strain yet again of these two knots. My favorite line, the Seagar, 20 pound fluorocarbon line. Um, onto braid. Personally, I find the FG knot much better, much more superior, and I pretty much get the 100% breaking strain that I with the FG knot. But that is the question, should you really be using fluorocarbon for um, attaching to your main braid? Probably not. But there's one thing I will say about the Seagull line. The Seagull is probably my favorite fluorocarbon. And I think if you use it in the right way, and once you've used it and caught a fish on it, you change your fluorocarbon so it does, doesn't become brittle. But um, the one thing I would say about the line is it's incredibly, um, it's got like a coating on it. I don't know what coating it's got, but it almost feels greasy to the touch and very, very smooth. So that just kind of means that um, when you are attaching it to another line with knots, if you've got a knot that's requiring a lot of uh, abrasion or a lot of friction to hold that knot in place, it's just not gonna do it with the seagull line. It's just gonna slide off and the knot's gonna fail quite early on. Uh, so the trick is you need to find a knot that doesn't necessarily rely on the friction if you're using the seagull line. If I did it with a mono line, I think it would be, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure you're gonna get 100% breaking strain straight off. So that's my point, fluorocarbon, don't think about what knot you're going to use, because not every knot that you're going to get is going to give you the 100% breaking strain. Worth considering. 